They epitomized what was perceived as living the good life, harnessing the raw energy of the streets to produce multi-platinum records. Brown Town. Behind the music. Within only 12 months, the four members of Brown Town were launched from impoverished, drug-ridden squalor to the ivory kingdom of hip-hop royalty. One hit followed another, and the fame and fortune flowed generously. I got so much money, I found Mark Zuckerberg going through my trash. Yo, my dog has a dog. I pay straight guys to kiss. I had a $1,500 day habit. Master Teabag, don't you think you've had enough toaster ovens? I'll tell you when I've had enough. Very good, sir. But just when the group was cutting their first album, tragedy struck. January 8, 2009, making his way to the local coin-operated laundromat, an unmarked vehicle approached Lil Chubb from behind. Hey, asshole! Nice bag! <laughs> Hey, asshole! Nice bag! We found him on the street. He was hunched over. He loved that bag so much. The perpetrators in Edmonton's most high-profile drive-by shouting were never found. Justice was never served. Problems continued as a member's deep, dark secret would shock and frighten this quickly ascending hip-hop group. It's widely known that young athletes, gymnasts and ballet dancers lose their periods during their careers. When they stop, it returns. We are recording some beats one day, laying down some sick tracks, and it just happened. Dude, what the hell? Oh my god! I gotta go. He was having a period. How do I even put this in? How does that even happen? But periods of shame and questions of gender didn't stop the quartet from attaining dump trucks of respect. Browntown released countless hit albums. There was bitch, bitches, my bitches, Home Alone with my bitches, and a tale of two bitches. Meanwhile, trying to reclaim his image as a man's man, Curious G started a line of designer cologne. By Curious. Curious. Yeah. Browntown had risen to fame, but success had its toll on the group. Yeah, I had a problem, but who didn't in those days? Mo Cube, the Muslim of the group, was accidentally served pork at a restaurant. He took one bite and he was hooked. I couldn't help myself. Like a baller. 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 He was eating pork all the time. It was getting out of control. Dude, you have a problem. You don't know me! It wasn't until Mo Cubed was found on a hotel room floor, strung out from a three-day pork bender, before he sought help. Meanwhile, Teabag found a passion in charity work. Starting the TMIP Foundation, he took his message to the community. Hey kids, if you want to be a success, if you want to get out of the ghettos, 
You need to say no to drugs. You need to stay in school. You need to raise your right hand. You shove it down your neck. Teabag's Touch Myself in Public Foundation came under fire for its controversial after school programs. It's not sexual. And his credibility was further threatened by the release of his solo album, Shove It Down Your Pants. Shove it down your pants, but you shove it down your pants. Take your right hand and shove it down your pants. Take your right hand and shove it down your pants. Oh. Now in the process of completing their sixth studio album, things are looking up for these Edmonton grown rap moguls, who once had everything, lost most of it, gained a little back, lost more and settled for some.